What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to teach you how to debug C programs in Visual Studio Code. So first of all, this is just for Linux because I don't know how to do this in Windows, but it is very simple in Linux. What you have to do first is to create a launch.json file. So here we press this and we press this first option which says C++ GDB that. But now here, this is what you have to change. Here, I recommend you using something like this. At least for me, it works like this. So, uh, you just have to, the only important things that you have to change is that, for example, in program, you have to put here works, workspace folder, and then the name of the executable of the C program that you are going to use. And here in args, these are the arguments that you put in the terminal. So for example, if, I had the program A, yeah, I had the program A, for example, I could put the arguments which would be size, then 10, and then minus key, and 1. And as you can see, each word have to be in uh, between quotes, and then it is this is a list, and you have to separate everything by a comma. So it is a list with the arguments, and each argument is between quotes because it is a string. Another thing you have to change is this stop at entry and put it to false, because for me it was always uh, true, and some weird things were happening, and then change this CWD uh, to workspace folder. So once you have this, it is everything very simple. So what you have to do first is to create the executable. And let me do make because I think that yeah, now the executable has been created. And if I press F5, well, first of all, I have to go to the uh, exercise.c program. And for example, here I, ha I have to put the the breakpoint here in order to stop at this point and one important thing super important is that whenever you compile a file in C and you want to debug it you have to use the minus G thing this is truly important because if not it is not going to compile it is not going to be able to debug it so for example here you have to use always the minus g in order to be able to com uh, to debug that program so uh, once you've done that and you compile with that we can put the breakpoint here and now if i press f5 we are going to debug a c program so as you can see the the program went to the breakpoint and now we are here and we have all the variables here one bad thing is that with dynamic memory things uh, are very difficult to debug like here you cannot see everything so for example we have this variable predict which is a uh, dynamic and you are going to see that some things are very difficult to see but Whenever you debug, you have a few options. So for example, we have this one, which is go step by step. And what it means is that it will go to the next line and it will stop and you will be able to see all the values. So for example, I now is uh, equal to one. If we move this, we check that this is the condition that have been met, then that, and now is I equal to three and so on. So uh, another cool feature is that, uh, Imagine that we want to go out of the, well, in this case, it went out to the, of the loop, but let's say that now we want to go inside this function that we created. So this init dictionary is a function that we created, and I truly don't remember where was that because this was a huge project. But in order to go inside a function that we created, the only thing that we have to do is to press this button, which is a step into, which is the same as F11. So. Once we press this, as you can see here, we are in this function and now we can check anything in this function. Another cool thing is that imagine that this function is super long and you already checked whatever you want and you want to go out. So you press here, step out, and what the program does is that, okay, I will execute everything else and once I'm out of the function, I will go out and, and that's it. So for example, now we can continue pressing F10 and yeah, just continuing. And 
What I can do is that, for example, imagine that I don't want to be pressing F10 all the time in order to move and move and move. So, for example, I can go to this function, well, I can go to this line of the code and say, okay, I want to move here and then press continue, which, which is the same as, as F5. So I press continue and now I went to that line. So the computer, what it did is that, okay, I will execute everything else. And once I reach that line that you told me to stop, I will stop. And now what I can do is that I can go inside the function and just check, uh, well, if that uh, works correctly. So again, everything was fine. And yeah, that's it. So I don't remember what this program does, but I think that what that was everything for for this tutorial. But I want to show you that, for example, Perict is a variable that is using dynamic memory and it is a structure. And whenever you try to use a uh, arise with a uh, memory with dynamic memory the debugger is like okay i cannot i cannot show you all so for example here this variable is not uh, shown correctly because this is uh, an array of 10 elements and we are just seeing one and this is because this is dynamic memory and i don't know how to check all the other values so that's the only issue. Well, here you have the direction. So I guess that if you <laughs> keep changing the direction, you will be able to see the values. But yeah, I think that was everything for this tutorial. As you can see, the important thing is to, to have this file like this. So for example, if you don't want to put arguments, you can remove this and you won't put arguments. But remember workspace folder, the name of the executable, then workspace folder, stop entry false, and that's it. So. If you understood how to debug C programs with Visual Studio Code, give it a like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.